Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to Fatal Frame, Maiden of Black Water. <laughs> As we head back in to try and get. Oh boy. Miku down the mountain. Oh boy. No. 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 Crap, 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 crap. No. No. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> okay. There you are. Piss off. Crap, behind you. Hmm. Medicine, herbal medicine, okay. Boom. Let go of her. I'm warning you. No. Uh, uh, uh. No. Shoot. Can't see. Can't see. Okay. We get her? No, we didn't get her. Well, that time we got her. Okay. Boom. Holy crap, okay. <clears throat> All right, Miku, let's get the hell out of here.
Because, dear God... <coughs> saving. Okay. So we're saving here of all play. Oh, crap. Crap. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Oh, God. Are there two of them? There's two of them, isn't there? What the hell? Who are you? Uh, this, this is going to be tricky. Back off. Nope. Touch you. Good. Who's this guy though? Oh god. No. Who the hell are you? There we go. Oh, crap. I never got to touch him. Uh, still. Okay. So far, so good. We're okay. Uh, whoa. Okay, yeah. Sensor. Upgrade that. I want to increase attack distance. Because the further away I can keep them, the better. <clears throat> Alright, Miku. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Or at least try to get the hell out of here. Letting us, it's letting us go. Kinda. Niku, you better be behind me. Kurosawa's antiques. Really. We're just going straight there. Hmm. Miu finally found Miku on Mount Ikami, where she had entered into a ghost marriage at the House of Joining. Miku explained her desperate wish to be reunited with her beloved, pleading for Miu's forgiveness. Miu led her mother away from the mountain and back to the antiques shop. Miu and Miku lay side by side and quickly fell into a deep sleep. S rank. Well, 
All right then. I'm I'm not gonna complain, but it is way too early for us to uh, call this. <clears throat> really, each drop is seems to be like three percent. Should I have been clearing these much faster than like I have been? Maybe. Twelfth drop. Yuri Kozukata find Hisoka Kurosawa. Oh man, we're going back to try and find Hisoka again. Rescued by Miyu, Yuri decides to continue chasing after Hisoka. Across the mists of the Lake of the Departed stands a massive tori, leading to the shrine on the water. I might have butchered that, how that's pronounced, I don't know. We will find out though, I suppose. Twelfth drop. To the other side, Yuri Kozukata. <clears throat> Yuri, Yuri ponders what she saw at the Lake of the Departed, Hisoka's shadow vanishing into a thick veil of mist. She recalls the tall Tori gate rising from the lake, marking the entrance to the shrine on the water. Could Hisoka be in that shrine? Yuri knows she must find a way across. She goes to investigate the Shrine of the Ephemeral. Oh. Oh boy. Well... <clears throat> Ahsoka went to the lake on top of Mount Akami. Of that I'm certain. A large Tori gate is visible from the lakeside. There must be something out there. If Ahsoka is out there, there might be some clues in her room as to why she went. Search Hisoka's room. Okie dokie. I'm cool with that. <clears throat> do we have our camera? We do. Okay, and it's still upgraded. Good. Open it up. Nothing. For what the hell? Son of a... What was that? Check. Oh. <clears throat> An old text about the shrine on the water that was left on a bookshelf. Oral tradition tells us of the shrine on the water. It is said to be the source of life and home to the sun god. People summoned by the cry of the mountain are said to pass through the shrine on their way to the gods. There are claims of people offering up their thoughts and their souls to release them from their suffering. The shrine appears in several folk tales, but unfortunately no trace of the building itself has ever been found. The question is, where is this shrine located? Could it lie on top of a literal body of water, as the name suggests? The lake of the departed on the summit is always covered in mist. The silhouette of a Tory gate can be seen when the sun sets. If that is the shrine on the water, it is likely that only certain individuals, those granted special permission, we're allowed to approach it by a boat. Okay. Notebook that's fallen next to the bed. Is this Hisoka's journal? Everyone has secrets. Secrets they never tell anyone. Secrets that cannot be shared. When people go missing, they take those secrets with them. Maybe it's the weight of those secrets that drives them to disappear. They must want to escape the heavy burden. Someday, Yuri may learn of my secrets, my scars, but then we might finally be able to open up to each other. Maybe I'll be able to face this head on and make a fresh start. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
Interesting. All right, Ahsoka. What kind of secrets do you have? Actually, I'll very briefly take a look in here. <coughs> Mew isn't here. I guess she woke up and wandered off somewhere. What? That's not good. That is, that is very not good. Okay. Why would Miu wander off somewhere? Miu? Miu? Oh. oh, what was that? Bookshelf was packed with thick tomes. Most came free with other antiques. Been kept in the hope that we can sell them too. Okay. <clears throat> Me you. A clock on top of an old dresser, the face is worn and faded. Hasoka seems to really like this clock. I stayed in this room when I first came here. Now I think about it, Hasoka must keep it as a place for the people she finds. Oh. Mew. Where are you? Where the heck could you be? Back door is locked as usual. This leads to the bathroom. Hisoka prefers a large bathtub, but it's too large for me to relax in very easily. Is Miu out front? I mean, that's the only place left to check unless she actually left the shop. Aha. If you leave, you won't be coming back. You're still not sure, are you? You're wondering if you should go or if you should stay. taking a picture to remember you by just in case I don't come back okay <sighs> don't think there's anything else to check I'm going to go find Hisoka Hisoka is in the shrine on the water on the other side of the lake. There was a boat at the shrine of the ephemeral. I can use it to get across. Saving. Wait, boat. Oh, I remember. At least this time we're actually going into the shrine instead of out and around somewhere dangerous. Okay. However, this is still a very dangerous place. 
The Shrine of the Ephemeral. There's a boat here. I saw a small boat here when I found Miu. That shrine maiden was in it. It must be the boat they used to reach the other shrine. Yeah, I know the one you mean. Go to the boat. Okay. First I'm grabbing this. Because why wouldn't I? Ooh, Type 90 film. Damn. That's the good stuff. <clears throat> Door shut tight and won't open. Uh -huh. I don't know why I said that so late after. But. Oh well. Huh? Hi. Oh shit. Ow. You Crap, crap. Gotcha. Huh, huh, huh. The ancient rituals performed on Mount Hikami continue to this day. If Hisoka is in the shrine on the water, it means she's become a pillar. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, mirror stone. Okay. Nope. It mentions the shrine of the ephemeral. It seems to be about why it was built. The Shrine of the Ephemeral houses three pillars who guard the mountain's pure water. One for the caskets, one for the forbidden flame, one for the water. The water passes through the shrine, purified by the flame. To proceed, one must receive permission from two maidens. With the two keys, receive the blessing of the maidens on the water. Oh. Sounds like this is going to be complicated. However, <clears throat> I'm going to be trying to take a little shortcut. What? Uh, where's my map? There. That's where I want to go. Fairly sure, at least. Okay. Oh, something here.
Type 61 film. Nice. Continue forward. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so I need to straight and then take a right. Right. Go down here. Okay. Then I go yeah, right and left and right through there. Okay. Right, left, through here. Casket's been laid on the floor, casket's full of wire, and I can see something shaped like a person submerged within. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. Just keep going. We're fine. There's the boat. Oh, hi. Ride on the water. There's something in the boat. It's a white book with a water design. This must have belonged to that bride. I have been chosen to be the Great Pillar. This is such an honor. A girl from a tiny village becoming the Great Pillar. The other maidens wept. They wouldn't stop crying, so I had to console them. <clears throat> I will be the Great Pillar. They gave me the name Kurosawa. From now on, I shall be called Osei Kurosawa. A camellia flowers engraved on the key. Oh. <coughs> A gate stands in the water on the far side. The shrine on the water must be on the other side of that gate. The key to that gate must be somewhere in this building. Saving. Okay. Oh, hi. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time on that fight because it just saved. It literally just save the game so I'm calling it there and when I come back when we when I record this next I'll need to fight him immediately more than likely <clears throat> so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like a comment subscribe if you want to see war excuse me and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it if you want to suggest a game Leave it in the comments below. And Fatal Frame Maiden of Black Water, as far as I know, is exclusive to the Wii U. And, well, in the next part, we'll try and get the gate open to get to the shrine on the water. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. Ha 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 